Hey Sagittarius, this is your weekly reading for September 16th through the 22nd. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other. Pre-shuffle some of these cards are ready. So we're going to go ahead and jump into your reading here. This first card must come out. Let's see what's going on with you. I'm gonna get the majority of your cards out here so you can see what your energy looks like. It, right up front, it looks like you need, there's a decision that needs to be made this week. You're, I, for, to me, it feels like you're kind of hesitant about it. You wanna be optimistic, optimistic about the possibilities of, of this change. It seems like everyone's getting like uh, the tower card coming out. What else was coming out? Let's see what else is showing up for you. Let me just take a quick look here. Is someone encouraging you to move away from something or move on towards something different in your life here, Sagittarius? For some reason, I'm feeling that energy with this row here. Let, let's go into your reading. Let's take a look at your mind, mentally, what's going on. You guys have the Two of Pentacles that's showing up for you. Two of Pentacles. Let's clarify all of this energy. Okay, clarify the two of pentacles here, Sagittarius. You guys have the messenger of action. So someone in your life is encouraging you to go towards something, to do something, to adapt to some change, to be flexible and face your fears or uh, not fear a change that needs to be made, okay? The messenger of action makes me feel like it's someone. I'm saying someone because we have the Justice card, we have the Hierophant that's coming in, the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like there's someone encouraging you to just be the best that you can be to move on um, towards something new. It may be parents, your parents, or... It could be you're listening to someone online, podcasts or YouTube channel, inspirational speakers or um, an influencer. Some of you guys are just listening or reading books and they're encouraging you to move on, to move beyond things that have been tripping you up here for some reason. I'm hearing that energy with a messenger of action that's coming in. It's saying something new and exciting related to creativity or your career is coming to your attention or has come to your attention. I feel like you've known about this already. You've been weighing your options. Like, is this going to be the right fit for me? Is this gonna be the right thing for me to do? It could be a job with the Pentacles. It could have something to do with your career, your job, your money, and action that you're thinking about taking here. So you may feel an eagerness to learn and you're ready to get going. That's what your spirit guides are saying. Although you may feel insecure in doing it. And if you have good people around you, some of you guys don't have anyone in life. That's why I said that you may be listening to various people, okay? Teachers or inspirational speakers, encouraging you to face your fears, to go after something, okay, that you're thinking about. And spirit guide, your spirit guides are saying you may feel this sense of insecurity about this change. Do it anyway. That's what they're <laughs> doing. Do it anyway. Okay. Some of you guys, you have been creating a vision board here or you're being encouraged to do so. Some of you guys have been creating this in your mind, in your heart, or physically creating a vision board for yourself here. Or you have a good idea of what your vision is, your goals are, or your dreams are here. Okay. Something that you've had on that board or on your mind or on your heart, uh, I feel is coming in towards you. You're going to have that opportunity to do something here, okay? You guys have a higher font and you also have 
the moon card and spirit is saying your intu intuitive abilities are very accurate right now so this week really rely on your, that inner voice all right and trust your guidance to be led in the right direction follow your own insights over the advice of others what are you feeling write it down in the comment section right what are you feeling you don't have to tell us what it's about but write it down get it out of your spirit and actually see it you write it down in your journal write it on here whatever it is that you're feeling like you need to do okay we don't have to know what you're talking about i want you to just put it out there put the energy out there because your card is saying follow your own insights over the advice of others and don't allow fear or worry to guide your way now if someone is giving you good advice maybe it's a good teacher maybe it's an inspirational speaker it is a podcaster it is someone who has had experience or done has done what you're trying to do okay they've reached some peer, some level of success or they have the experience that you're about to step into they could be telling the truth they could be giving you some valuable information and in in that case i would say take that information store it okay in your subconscious mind but also listen to what your heart is saying because it even though someone else may think it's good, is it good for you here, okay? So that's your advice here for this week to really listen to your own uh, guidance and don't allow fear and worry to guide your way, okay? Because fear and worry may step in. you be like, actually, that's not good for you, but why? Question yourself, why is it not good for you? Is it because you're afraid of it or you feel like you won't be successful in doing X, Y, Z? Spirit is saying it may be best to keep your secrets to yourself for now. Keep your secrets to yourself for now. Okay. You guys have the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Abundance that is showing up for you. So Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Abundance. If you continue to work on something and remain steadfast to that thing here, you can be very successful financially physically, mentally, you're going to be in a good place. With the Knight of Pentacles, it's all about being slow and steady with your work, with your craft, with your skills, and continuously building. If you haven't done this, if you're not doing this, if you're not working on self or working on a project or working on something here, this is your time to get started in doing that. Let's see what the key cards are for you here, Sagittarius. <laughs> okay, like I said to you before, they're wanting you to listen to your intuition because you have intuition and insight. Follow, um, it says follow your own insights over the advice of others and don't allow fear or worry to guide your way at this time. So you're being encouraged to do that they're asking you to move movement will help you clear your mind especially if it's all over the place you're not able to find balance mentally right now at this moment because uh, i feel that with the two of pentacles you're in you got one foot in one foot out you're back and forth with yourself here movement exercise walking breathing work will help you do that or they're just telling you to <laughs> create that vision board or watch a movie okay <laughs> they are telling you to watch a movie you know what music and movies sometimes uh, you may be guided to watch something in particular it doesn't have to be a movie like i said it could be some some youtube channel some influencer some creator but they may have a story or a message within that video that you need to hear right now at this time, okay? So if you're being guided to do that, go ahead and do it. If your spirit is saying, oh, that's interesting, you need to watch that, do it, okay? Second row here, you guys have the world card that is showing up for you. The world card, the justice card, and the ace of pentacles. Let's see what's going on. In this row Ooh, yeah that kind of coincides with this first card that's showing up for you <laughs> so I'm telling you that you're definitely gonna have something here um, let me put these cards back in the right place that is gonna work out for you the old ways are gone it's time to start 
a new chapter, create a new story. I say this a lot and I'm telling you that it's your time to shine. It's your time to write that new script for yourself here because the world card is showing up for you here, Sagittarius. So you've gone through big lessons. You always hear people say, even in memes, like your spirit guides are giving you more lessons. You've been through a lot. And I feel like this is the moment where you are stepping into something new. Anytime we see the world card, we're immediately starting over in the major arcana and going towards the full. The full is right after the last card in the major arcana. So we're moving on to something different. It's time to close a chapter okay, of your life. It's time to let go of the old and invite the new in because that's exactly what's clarifying this card. Out with the old, in with the new, Sagittarius. Spirit is saying that they are showing you signs, symbols, and synchronicities. That it's time to move in a new direction. Often this is because you're not happy and you feel a lack of purpose in your life. This is a wake-up call to make changes that match your heart's desires and spiritual truths. That's what you need to embrace in this, in this row here. The new thing that's coming in. And you need to be content and fully complete um, or content, I like to use that word, with your past. Okay, you need to be at peace with your past and that experience. It's gotten you this far, it's taught you something, it's evolved you in some way, it's changed you in some way, okay? Whether it's neg something negative or positive, it's still changed you in some way, it's brought you to this point where you're watching this reading here. So accept those experiences with grace and understanding of the lesson that you went through and know that a whole new chapter is coming in towards you. Again, this is the, this is confirmation, okay? Because this is the tower card coming in twice for you, okay? You got two tower cards. No, you're not going through a tower moment. You've been through it already. That's why it's coupled with the world card. It's all come to a closure, completion, this cycle, okay? Maybe of challenges and and shitty situations you found yourself in is concluding, is completing here. And with any change, it requires you to change, okay? So there's something about you that needs to change as well and embrace the change and embrace the changes that are happening within you, okay? What do you need to focus on here? Creating new karma in your life, accepting that if you learn lessons from the past and you're accepting them, um, that um, there may be good karma coming in towards you as well. The Six of Cups, Six of Emotions is showing up, so it's wanting you to accept the past. Karmic, if someone's ending a karmic story or a karmic cycle, you are ending a karmic story or a karmic cycle in your life, okay? And I don't mean with the divine masculine, or it could be, <laughs> or a person in your life. This is just about you here, Sagittarius, completing a karmic cycle. Um, and with that concluding, uh, I do feel like spirit is just letting you know. You need to focus on um, the current moment and what you're doing currently. The justice card is about cause and effect, okay? I feel like you're in this energy. Again, I'm going to say that you're creating a new chapter and it's going to be good. Okay. <laughs> you guys have release. What do you need to release? You have the Ace of Pentacles and you also have the Will of Fortune coming in. A happy change. Whatever that change need is that you need to make, go ahead and make it. Release what no longer serves you. Your angels have heard your prayers here, Sagittarius, and have bonded together to create real and joyful changes in your life. Events are going to begin to move forward and great progress will now be possible for you. You may need to make some rapid decisions, just like I mentioned in the, in the beginning of your reading. You need to make rapid decisions due to the suddenness of activity that you will experience over the next three months. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Be confident in yourself and trust the guidance you receive. 
because you're going to be experiencing a lot of blessings coming your way things being given to you opportunities opening up for you doors that were once shut are going to open up for you it won't look like the thing that you wanted in the pre behind the previous door it's going to be something new that you need on this journey okay in this chapter of your life in this season okay so if this is a career it could be a, a happy change in your career your status um it could be a happy change in your finances here as well. You could have financial stability with the Ace of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune that is showing up for you, okay? Relationships could be a little bit more easier going forward here as well, especially this week. You may feel like you're becoming closer to the people uh, that you're around or you're understanding that you need to close chapters with individuals. A tower card okay Re relationships dissolve and then you see who's really around you who really has your back you nurture those connections okay your supporting cards are saying this start a side hustle it says never stop the hustle this could be a new position coming in or in addition to one that you have or you guys could be starting your own YouTube channel, your own podcast. You could be starting your own OnlyFans. You could be starting something, okay, all on your own. It could be your side hustle. You guys could be thinking about um, working multiple jobs or using your skills to create an uh, extra stream of income, okay? The best way to become your own boss is to, is to start a side hustle. That's what it's telling you to do for this row in regards to what you need to embrace, focus on, and release, okay? You guys also have meditate, Sagittarius, that's showing up for you. So they want you to meditate um, at this time. Quiet the mind and let your soul speak love. You also have make new friends in this row. Maybe the friends that you thought were friends are not really friends, okay? Because what you should be embracing in this row is letting go of the old and allowing the new to enter in your life. That's why you have new friends coming in. Get out there and make new friends. Don't hide in the shadows, right? In this row here, you guys are starting off with the Empress card, Sagittarius. You have the Empress card, the Queen of Pentacles, and of course, the tower card. Ooh, let's take a look here. I'm going to see what you need to be optimistic about, what you may feel pessimistic about, and what the possible outcome is for you. I'm going to put some clarifier. You think very negative of yourself. You need to stop. Okay? There's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> um, there's something wrong with all of us, okay? Uh, if you think about it, there's things that we need to work on, but that doesn't mean it's wrong, okay? I want to say it that way. It doesn't mean it's wrong. We have a lot of evolving to do, each one of us in our own way. But the first card that's showing up in regards to what you need to be optimistic about is you. Yes, it is you. You need to be optimistic about you and your growth and, and think positive. That's why I said you think very negative of yourself, Possibly because you've had a rough past, Ten of Swords. Even presently, you may be going through rough times with the Ten of Swords. This is saying a situation that's been troubling you has come to an end or is coming to an end. Maybe the way people, maybe it's your reputation or the way people think of you. Like something, people may have thought you were doing well, but Sagittarius, you're about to do better with the Empress card that's showing up. You're really going to shine here. And it's not just this week. I'm seeing like this happening over time as we step into 2025. Again, you're cracking open. <laughs> you are revealing you. You're coming into your own. You, you're really trusting yourself to grow in a new way. Okay, so that's why I'm wanting you to think positive about yourself. Ten of Swords. So... Something that's no longer needed is coming to an end. Hence why we have the world card in this row. They're saying that you can breathe a sigh of relief with the challenging times that are going to be behind you. And now you can move on. Now you can move forward here. Will of fortune, which means momentum, forward momentum. Okay. It's important to fully let go at this juncture 
of giving a damn about what people think about you. Are you happy with you? You have to be happy with you, okay? Venus energy representing the Empress and this is all about you loving you, nurturing you, your ideas, being fruitful. Whatever this Empress touches, okay, with this wand, bountiful harvests are created. So I feel like whatever you really put your full energy and focus into will grow. That includes you thinking in a negative way. If you're putting, if you're using that wand to really think about all the things that you don't want or all the things that have happened and all the fear that you have in the future about your life, that's also going to manifest. So really use this Empress energy to create, to be creative, uh, to create abundance, beauty, and um, nurturing energy towards your life and yourself, okay? It's, in, and it's fully important to let go at this juncture. Um, and I feel like they're just not wanting you to be dependent on others. They're wanting you to be more of an independent spirit at this time. That's your focus here this week. So, um, pessimistic energy. <laughs> And this is why you don't see yourself the way other people see you. This is something that I'm hearing here. Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. You don't see yourself the way that other people see you. A lot of people may see you here, Sagittarius, with a lot of potential. Um, but you're trying so hard when you don't really have to. With the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, I feel like people are going to be drawn to you. Um, yes. Connections, relationships, job opportunities, uh, proposals, and just, I feel with the Three of Pentacles, it's just a lot of, um, good personal or professional connections that can be made, but you don't have to try so hard. I don't know why it's so hard for me to get it out. Maybe because some of you guys want to say the right things. Or you th it, it dominates your mind. Am I going to say the right things? Am I going to do the right? You know, this is not a performance. Just be you. That's what I'm feeling here with your energy. You just have to be yourself. Because these people are going to gravitate towards you. Because they see you as a down-to-earth person. A good business partner. Or you have good business sense. With the Queen of Pentacles, you're very nurturing. Um, you have a natural gift. Uh, you're very caring um, and you really have a, a strong values and vision here and they're going to want to be around you, work with you, befriend you here. Don't be pessimistic about the possibility, okay, that that is true. Some of you guys are like, <laughs> you may have not had that energy in the past. So you're like, that's never happened to me. But it, it can it definitely can and will happen for you because of the tower card showing up twice. There's a breakthrough, a big breakthrough that is happening for you. And that's what's coming up next. You have the healer of abundance and the tower energy that is showing up for you here. Your outcome. So whatever hasn't been working for you, whatever is needing to leave you at this time will suddenly leave. Okay, and this is forces outside of you making this happen. It is something being drawn down. That's why I keep doing this. It feels like spirit is is sending a message down on, or an order down to end something in your life. Remove it from your path. Okay, because a chapter is done, a story is done. It's time to rewrite a new one. Okay. The healer of abundance is saying here, Sagittarius, never doubt that you can make a difference. Your creativity and ability to be innovative make you destined to succeed. It might be time to expand your career. That's why something is ending because that job you got is just the J-O-B, just over broke. You're just over broke or you're really suffering, okay? Or some of you guys can't find a job and you're like, I need to do something different. A message is going to be sent to you. That's why you have the moon card showing up for you here. A message is going to be sent to you with the Hierophant card. It may be someone coming into your life, an influencer, a, 
a mentor, okay? Some of you guys, it's a spiritual guidance, and that's why you have to meditate. This message is coming in to you here on how you can position yourself, align yourself to uh, opportunities that will show up for you, okay? They're saying it might be time to expand your career, but don't forget to leave time for your family, for yourself, for personal growth and development here, okay? They're telling me that you are a down-to-earth person, definitely, okay? You have the gift for design, for uh, music to be creative. You have these amazing gifts. Some of you guys are artists out there. I'm hearing that as well, okay? Some of you guys may have an opportunity to put that energy into motion somewhere. Get your head out the clouds. You have clouded mind in this row. That's why I said, stop thinking so negative about yourself or don't stop giving a damn what other people think about you because the Ten of Swords and the Empress card is showing up here. You, you know, find order amidst confusion. You have to make a tough decision. Quiet the mind and let your soul speak. That is the third time they've said that to you, Okay. They're also tell, uh, talking to you in this row about concerns, concerns. What are you concerned about? Letting some things go, stepping into a new life, stepping, letting go of the familiar things. Don't be scared to do that. All right. Your card is saying, don't let your fears stop you. Face your fears head on. Evaluate the risk you perceive. You also have the moon showing up for you as well. Something is not what it appears to be. What is hidden will soon be exposed. There is no clear answer at this time about this tower energy and how something's going to collapse and it's going to implode. That's what I'm hearing here. Let's go into your next row here. What you want. You want things to move along, damn it. <laughs> you got the eight of wands showing up for you. You're like, hurry up, bring me the money. Bring me the career. Bring me the opportunity. Okay, stop pussyfooting around and just bring it here. <laughs> I get it. You're ready for things to get going here in your life. You're ready to start your new life. You're ready for a new beginning. You're ready for change. I get that. Okay. So the Eight of Wands is being clarified by a win-win situation. So if this is your career, there could be expansion. Like I told you, your finances, there could be opportunities to invest uh, your time, your attention, your energy. You may be having the opportunity to um, learn something new, okay? That's going to bring you financial stability and security here, okay? Your win-win situation card is saying that there's strength and diversity by blending the ideas of other people with your own. You can often come up with a solution that's magnificent, there's going to be a message coming in towards you here, Sagittarius, that someone wants to work with you. They want to blend their ideas with yours or they feel like you're going to be right on a team or in a group or in a collab, okay? There's some message coming that you're going to be chosen for some position. Some opening is coming up for you. Don't panic. Don't get in your head, okay? And start thinking the worst. Don't have a clouded mind. Don't be stuck at the crossroads. Like, I don't know which way to go. Again, it's saying quiet the mind and let the soul speak, love. All right? This is a win-win situation. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon and then open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. Ask a lot of questions in regards to what's coming in towards you here. Um, what you want is coming in, but I also feel like you make you need to make sure that what you're getting is going to satisfy your needs and the needs of others, okay? In regards to what you need, you need to move on from the past. You have the helper of thoughts and the six of swords that's showing up for you. It's time to <laughs> it's time to clean up your life. I love this little card. Because the Six of Swords tells you that it's time to move on. It's time to depart. And Spirit is coming up with the, the two tower cards saying that we don't give a damn if you don't want to move. You're going to move anyway because you're going to start seeing the past or the things that you've been holding on to, gripping onto for dear life, starting to leave. 
because it's no longer part of your journey. Okay? I'm trying to be delicate here. But the healer of thoughts is really laying it down. It's saying it's time to clean up your life. Get rid of anything that clutters your space or makes you disorganized. Okay, so this could be a mental movement or a physical movement, whichever one it is, it's going to be taking you over to that other piece of land that is more promising. You go into the promised land, okay? People who take from you, don't take that personal. People who take from you, uh, this is what you need to make space, uh, get rid of, okay? Get rid of anything that clutters your space or makes you disorganized. People who take from you but don't give back should be released as well um, at this time. You or another person involved in this situation is wise, insightful, and caring. That is you. All right? You have a wonderful sense of humor and offer a lot of life experience. That's damn sure. Okay, so wherever you're going, you're going to be welcomed. Because people feel like you're going to be coming with a whole new vibe, a whole new energy. You're going to be very welcome in another place. Just know that. That's what you need. You need to be in front of the right people, in the right crowd. Yes. What do you need to celebrate here? Uh, how strong you are. How capable you are. How wise you are. Okay. Hermit card and the emperor card that is showing up for you. You have the ability to do this. I know Sagittarius doesn't like to be pinned down towards things. I feel like you're going to have some free range to do some of the things that you want to do. Are you going to be totally free? To just do whatever the hell you want to do. Probably not. Okay. We don't ever just get that. But it'll be like uh, you'll have more freedom to express yourself. Maybe mentally, creatively, emotionally in some area of your life. Okay. So they're just asking you to be a little bit disciplined um, right now with the spiritual teacher that's showing up. They're also encouraging you to shine your light as an example for others to follow. So some of you guys need to take a leadership role. You need to be the boss. You need to be the leader. You need to be the courageous one. Okay. And you need to teach up. Sagittarius, believe it or not, in tarot, you are the teacher. You teach all the other signs how to be free, how to be, um, how to explore, how to free their mind. <laughs> All right, you encourage them to do that. All right, all of us. Um, and I want you to continue to do that. All right, your follow up cards for this row you guys have bully that's showing up. Maybe you've dealt with bullies, someone that conceals deep fears and projects it on you because that's the way that they feel. Someone who is verbally or physically abusive here. Okay, that's something that you need to leave behind. Most definitely here. Some of you guys, this came in a position of what you need. You need to move away from individuals that create a lot of strife, okay, in your life. Uh, move away from people who take from you or release people who take from you, okay, don't give back to you. You guys also have prostitute that, that is showing up for you. Places material considerations and security above self empowerment. I'm telling you, don't sell yourself. Don't don't be selling yourself cheap here. For some reason, it just feels like like that. Okay, just for something material. Make sure that you hold on to your your values here. Justice card and the six of cups is coming up here. For some of you, this is telling me about someone coming back as well. Like there may be someone that gets a whiff of you it's always a bitch coming back <laughs> all right it's always someone that wants to come back because they're like i wonder what that sag is up to you may be posting more keep your business to yourself because you don't want people to mess up i feel what's coming in you know spirit is moving all of those complications off of your heart off of your mind out of your way physically and this is a, a fresh start for you here Sagittarius so really pay attention to anybody that really is stepping to you inappropriately because that's what I feel with this femme fatale inappropriate use of sensuality attachment to money and power because I feel like that's what you're gonna have 
okay, as we go through these next few months. I know we're reading for the week, but this is all starting during this time period. You may have a lot of power. You may step into a position of power. You may have an opportunity to be in some collaborative group with people. Three of Pentacles that's showing up for you here and this Queen of Pentacles and you're really on top of your game. Okay, and this is just a start for you. And then you have those people that want to come back and just attach themselves to you with seduction and temptation because they feel like you're about to go somewhere. Okay, you guys have angels. Listen to your angels here. Some of you guys are earth angels. That's something else that I'm feeling here as well. I'm taking the light and dark uh, shadow. I said dark. <laughs> uh, shadow attribute here it says a light attribute helping those in need with no expectations of return do that to create good karma justice card that is showing up for you okay um shadow attribute is also talking about someone acting innocent which i feel like this is someone possibly <laughs> Possibly in your life that you've dealt with already that may want to come back and have a second chance with you. Ooh. All right. But they're coming back as an angel. Like, it's all good. You guys know somebody named Angel? Careful. Acting innocent or angelic to mislead others, falsely claiming to be in touch with angelic guidance or I've dream dreamt of you. You were in my dreams last night. That's how the conversation is going to start. <laughs> Let me know if that happens. You were in my dreams last night. I just had to connect with you and see what you're up to. You know, I was thinking someone's going to really bring back the past of the good times, though. Okay? But what you need to focus on is a happy change. Okay? Release those things that haven't made you happy. And focus on forward movement. New people, new places, new energy, a new vibe, a new you. Sagittarius, this is your reading. Thank you guys for coming back to watch your reading, Sag. I appreciate you and your energy. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you feel about this reading. Like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign if you would like to do that. And I'll see you beautiful, Sagittarius, in your next reading. Take care, love. Bye.